I'm Chaplain Tim Bohr, the first TSC Deputy Command Chaplain. I want to talk to you about the blessings of living in the desert. You know, we often think of the desert as a barren and desolate place, and for good reason. It's dry, it's hot, there's big insects. And when the children of Israel left Egypt out of slavery and they went into the desert with Moses, they thought the same thing and they said to Moses, hey, were there no graves in Egypt that you brought us out here into the desert to die? And we may have similar feelings about our deployment and our time in the desert or if you're in Afghanistan in the wilderness. Now granted, being at Camp Arif John is more like being at an oasis with Starbucks and swimming pools. But still you might be asking yourself, why did God send me here? Or maybe this just sucks. But here's the thing, God often has other plans for our time in the desert. To be sure, the Israelites found a barren wasteland in the desert but they also found God there. And when they look back on their history, they saw that time in the desert as one of the highlights of their nation. Here's the spiritual truth. We often find God in the desert, or more accurately, God finds us. Let me tell you about a soldier who found that to be true. Sergeant Perrin had never been to church before she arrived in the deserts of Iraq. There at the invitation of a battle buddy, she started coming to chapel. And while she was attending, she heard God's voice calling her. We had the privilege of baptizing Sergeant Perrin there in the desert, in the land of Abraham, because that's where she heard his voice. I want to encourage you to take this time in the desert or the wilderness of Afghanistan as a gift from God, to find him, to be found by him, to see his glory in a new way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your